पंजाब के चीफ मिनिस्टरियल कैंडिडेट चरणजीत सिंह चन्नी जी हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम पल्लवी घोष एंड दिस वीक आई कम फ्रॉम द सनी स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब विद द सन रोज ऑन द लक ऑफ चरणजीत सिंह चन्नी द राहुल गांधी फाइनली चोज चन्नी एज द सी एम फेस which left navjot singh sidhu visibly disappointed this week i asked this question is it why was it that channi was chosen by rahul gandhi will it actually settle the problems for the congress in the state which is massively disunited and what about navjot singh sidhu does the round 2 of the battle begin for him now but as far as answering this question could it solve the problems of the congress party i'm afraid that's not the sense what i get because when he behind the show of unity which we saw at the Harshila resort when Rahul Gandhi made an announcement was actually those comments of murmurs in the corridor many congress leaders actually walked up and said that this is not a choice which needed to have been made that's because chennai is just one of us it's a throwback to the upa era because i remember many in the cabinet or dr manmohan singh would take him on openly sometimes inside the cabinet sometimes outside and sometimes in front of the media because they felt that he's just one of our colleagues how can we accept him as a boss and that was the genesis of the problem which upa 1 and upa 2 actually faced pradam mukherjee jairam ramesh the names are plenty who actually refused to accept dr manmohan singh as the boss is it going to be a repeat of the same story as far as punjab congress is concerned of course we are discussing a hypothetical situation that the congress comes back to power in the state after the 10th of march chiranjeet singh chenni predictably becomes the chief minister but will that be a beginning of his problems will a pargat singh a sukhi randhawa see for a t- short time they may have accepted him as a cm because they knew that elections are around the corner and it's a temporary arrangement because the captain has been replaced but this would now be for 5 years would they accept his leadership and cm ship for the next 5 years that could be a major problem just to go back to the sense which i got behind the scenes is that many told us and they were telling me in private that you know we cannot accept this narrative the fact that projection of charanjit singh channi as someone who's poor is actually a violation of the basic facts that's a picture which is being presented but may not be entirely true and second he is not the only one who actually worked in the replacement of captain amrinder singh the luck dawned on him and he became the cm we were all overlooked for many reasons just using a dalit card is not enough jat six matter and talking about jat six this is where the role of navjot singh sidhu comes in and also do put up a very strong face he was smiling but while he was doing all of that it was very very clear that he was taken by surprise what sources tell me is that for that more than one hour meeting with rahul gandhi had before he headed for the resort where the announcement was made he actually caught up with many of the disgruntled mlas and most of them were making the point that they are not happy in the present setup they feel sidelined some of them blame channi some of them blame navjot singh sidhu that was a big problem for rahul gandhi but in that 15 minute long meeting with rahul gandhi had separately with navjot singh sidhu sidhu kept on talking about the punjab model without putting forward his name as the cm face he knew that is something which could boomerang but he talked about unfulfilled promises how the 111 day old channi gabbin was still not able to go ahead as far as the two biggest issues of punjab is concerned one is the justice in the sacrilege case and the second of course is breaking down the drug business Rahul Gandhi I'm told listen to him very quietly Rahul Gandhi then comes to a resort he makes that announcement but till the last minute till he reached the stage Navjot Singh Sidhu was not told that he will not be the CM face there was a sense of disappointment because later on he talks to his own close circle our advisor saying ki mere sath daga ho gaya he sees this as a kind of backstabbing the man who played a very active role going along with the gandhi siblings in ensuring the replacement of captain amrinder singh now if you look at the punjab congress during the captain's time if there was a biggest enemy of the captain and vice versa it was navjot singh sidhu the captain in his interview to me and even when he spoke publicly at press conferences kept on singling out navjot singh sidhu holding him responsible 
and to a very great extent Sidhu by making the point that Punjabi and Punjabiat meant justice in the sacrilege case, a corruption-free Punjab, employment for the youth and end of the drug menace. He solely held the captain responsible for the failure of the Congress party on all these fronts. That suited the narratives of the Gandhis and therefore Sidhu many felt was actually used to build up this consensus against Captain Amrinder Singh. Sidhu, if you remember, was meeting up MLAs after MLAs, trying to get their support to ensure that the captain was left all alone. Will that clearly happen? Captain was replaced. Sidhu, of course, at that point of time, happy was happy being the Pradesh chief or the PCC chief because he felt elections around the corner. I'll use the next two to three months to build up my pay, uh, pace within the party. And then, of course, I'll become the CM phase. That hadn't happened because the Gandhis had another plan. They also knew that Sidhu was a maverick. He's someone who could come out very openly, speak his mind, and was not seen as a team leader. Sidhu, as far as the Gandhis was concerned, had served his purpose, and therefore the Act 2 began, and the result of the Act 2 was that Chenni has been made the Chief Minister. Now, we are heading towards elections in the state. It's a single-phase poll, which is going to take place on 10th of this month. And let, 20th of this month, and let us understand what exactly is it that are pros and cons and what is likely to happen. Now, Chenni first. Low profile, someone who believes in astrology. In fact, I remember he was told by his astrologer that if you want to do well in life, and if you want to CM, why don't you buy an elephant and make that elephant roam around your sprawling lawn? That's exactly what he did. And maybe the elephant did the wonders for him, but certainly the astrologer's prediction came true. Chenni not just became the CM, but he also has become the CM face for the upcoming election. Now, Chenni's biggest challenge is that he has very little time. He first has to ensure that a party stands by his side. It's a completely divided Punjab Congress. Everyone is fighting with everyone. And in this case, Chenni has to play an important role as a team leader, as the father of the team. That may be easier said than done because he also has to use this time to build up an image for himself. Yes, in his last few days and weeks since he became the CM, he's tried to do that. He's built up a contrary image to that of Captain Amrinder Singh, who was seen as focusing on Kotri or someone who was detached from his MLAs and the crowds. By going into the crowds, you know, stopping and helping people, that's the image which Chenni has built up for himself and he's going to work on that and the party is going to work on that as far as the polling day is concerned. Immediately, his challenge would be to ensure that MLAs are by his side, the candidates accept his leadership, they listen to him in a coordinated manner. His next, of course, challenge will come in that he has to get his cabinet to listen to him should the Congress party come to pass. But let's put the focus on Navjot Singh Sidhu because that is where the bigger story lies. Now, Sidhu has his moments of, you know, erratic politics, joining the BJP, taking on Sonia Gandhi, taking on the Congress party, Calling Rahul Gandhi a papu also, I remember at that point of time. But he was also someone the BJP could use because he was, you know, high profile. He would grab the eyeball, so on and so forth. Then he leaves the BJP. He meets with the Ahmadmi party. He meets Arvind Kejriwal and there was this speculation that is he actually going to be joining the AAP. But his demand was that I should be made the CM face of Punjab. That of course didn't happen. And then he joins the Congress. He's exactly what the Gandhi is like. You know, bold, brazen, gift of the gap. And as Rahul Gandhi himself pointed out, someone who's an all-rounder. Bowler bhi hai and batsman bhi hai. That's who it is in the narrative. And the fact that he used to make fun, he used to connect with the crowd, the youth liked him. He was a cricketer, the Gandhi siblings' fascination for cricket, the works. So as far as Sidhu was concerned, it was sunrise moment for him in Punjab. And now his challenge begins. First challenge would be, to win his seat of Amritsar Easter. I have travelled over there. To say it's going to be a cakewalk for him is absolutely wrong. There's a sense of anger against him. There's a sense of anger against the Congress party. And many feel that no work has been done on the ground. Now, Vikram Majitia is a man I would not write off in a hurry. He belongs to a neighbouring Majitia constituency where he's been an MLA. His wife is contesting from there. But this time round, he is contesting for Amritsar East. Yes, Sidhu's fulcrum of politics has been what he says breaking down a drug cartel and he calls Vikram Ajitya Chitta King, which is Chitta as a kind of drug, the local drug. That is the popular balance over here in Punjab as far as drugs are concerned. But this is something which Majitya began his race from and has been countering time and again. 
and therefore he is going on that wicket to say false implications against me. Tell me in all these years, what has Sidhu done for you in Amritsar East? Door to door campaign, that's the point he's making, showing the roads to the people. Biggest challenge for Sidhu at this point of time is to win in Amritsar East. If he wins, he's going to be just another MLA. May not have much takers with the cabinet if Congress party comes to power. If he loses, it's going to be a complete downhill for his political career. You know, I know Rahul Gandhi also said that Netas are not made in television studios or in debates. But that has been the USP of Sidhu. A defeated Louis of Sidhu can actually do harm not just to the party but also to himself. I would say to the party because he just has to make one statement that supports someone who's bringing that change. In his interview to me, he also made the point that there are winds of change and people are seeing AAP as change. Is that his subtle message to the voters that go and vote for AAP, they'll bring the change because I was not made the CMFA so I can't bring the change and Chandni can't bring the change. That would be hugely embarrassing and confuse the voters even more. But the second important thing is that will he actually ensure in case of a hung assembly that a few of his supporters in the Punjab Congress actually decide to defect, go across and help the AAP or whoever has the largest number of seats to form the government. What's their space? Thank you so much for watching. Hey, who's had the laugh laugh? Is it Chandni or will it be Navjot Singh Sidhu come the election results? Your take on this. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah.